going to learn about cells as we know cell is the basic structural and functional unit of life and it was first observed by robert hooke in 1665 robert hooke actually observed a dead cell he called it cell because it looked like honey homes like this and also it looked like a prison cell in which the prisoners stay and based on that he gave the name cell and shape and size are related to respective functions of cell now there are two types of cells prokaryotic and eukaryotic now let us talk about the prokaryotic the prokaryotic have a flagella as you can see here the flagella which help them to move flagella this they have a nucleoid that is the genetic material this pink black -like structure inside it and no nucleus is present so the nucleoid are freely suspended they are freely moving and there are small small villi like structures on top of them which help them to move and very less cell organelles are found in the prokaryotic cell cytoplasm is present cell wall is present plasma membrane is present villi is present nucleoid is present flagella and now let us talk about eukaryotic cell we have a nucleus it have a defined nucleus as you can see this is the nucleus in this nucleus a nucleoid is found or the genetic material is found and there are so many cell organelles the cell organelles are double layer like this they are double layer the george apparatus is double layer nucleus is also double layer etc now the eukaryotic cell have a nucleus a nucleoid georgia apparatus the cells endoplasmic retina plasma membrane and cytoskeleton now let us talk about the animal cell the outer layer this is known as a plasma membrane it allows only selected gases water or other material to go inside the cell and come out two types of transformation to go inside and outside cell they are diffusion and osmosis diffusion is nothing but it is the transfer of gas or liquid from higher concentration to lower concentration osmosis it is the transfer of water from higher concentration to lower concentration through a semi permeable membrane And now let us see the brain, the control unit of the cell, the nucleus. The nucleus. The nucleus, as we know, is the control unit of the cell, and the nucleus is double layer and have a nuclear poles on it, which help to transfer molecules in and out. These are the nuclear poles, which helps the transfer. of molecules in and out inside nucleus we have nucleolus in this site of rna synthesis ribosome synthesis the ribosomes will sit on the rough endoplasmic reticulum this one and it will help in the protein synthesis the endoplasmic reticulum is of two types rough and smooth rough endoplasmic reticulum they have very rough texture they have ribosomes in them and they help in the protein synthesis smooth endoplasmic reticulum will help in the lipid synthesis which helps in the growth of plasma membrane now let us look about mitochondria they are the power house of the cell because they produce atps which is the energy molecule of the cell and also the mitochondria have their own dna and they have ribosomes in them and now let us talk about lysosomes which is known as the suicidal bags these are the lysosomes 
these have digestive enzymes in them and when the cell is dead the ribosomes burst out and the digestive enzymes will get released and will eat the entire cell so they are known as suicidal bags now let us talk about the Golgi apparatus the Golgi apparatus will help in the transportation of protein from rough endoplasmic reticulum the protein will come to Golgi apparatus and from here the protein will be packed and will be sent to various parts of the cell centrioles are the gas cylinder like substance which helps in the division of cell so that's all about animal cell